They're blind, they're hairless, and they're practically deaf. But here at Vanderbilt University, these African rodents might have something to teach us about staying healthy into old age. Here we have an animal model that as estrogens and progesterones and these things get ramped up, they are experiencing a lot of growth. They're adult animals that are getting longer. Their spines are getting longer. This would have great implications for osteoporosis research where we see a deficit of hormones such as estrogen that are resulting in substantial bone loss in adults. Graduate student Christine Krish studying the sexual and social lives of naked mole rats, the only mammals with the social structure commonly associated with ants, bees, and termites. The queen rules the colony. She'll keep one or two males for breeding purposes and suppress the puberty in all other subjects. They may live for up to 30 years without ever entering adulthood. There's thought to be some kind of social component that stresses these animals into not producing hormones. And pity the poor girl mole rat that dares to get naked with the male naked mole rat. Another animal were to try to become reproductively active or try to rise up to be queen, she would attack and kill them. Dr. Kenneth Catania is also studying mole rats' protruding front teeth, which can move independently, and whisker-like hairs called vibrissa, which the rats use to find their way around in the dark. Just don't call them ugly around Christine Krish. To her, they're the sweetest little things.